Hello everyone! Today we decided to take the bus from outside the campsite and catch this open top bus to Sandbanks. This is Pool's Boating Lake and it looks like it's very popular for getting your boat out today. Looks like windsurfers are also out in force today. This is Parkstone Bay. Oh, there's the bus stop we need to get back to pool later. Look at these houses over here. This is what they must call Millionaire's Row. Well, here's the second most expensive house in Sandbanks. It's on Panorama Road and it costs just a mere eight and a half million. Oh well, back to reality. It's a fiver if we had a car today and wanted to take it across on the chain ferry. But we're on foot, so we'll just have a little watch and see what we can see. The chain ferry crosses the entrance of Poole Harbour. The route runs from Sandbanks to Studland and in doing so connects the coastal parts of the towns of Bournemouth and Poole with Swanage and the Isle of Purbeck. This avoids a 25 mile journey by road on a return trip. Even the buses here take the ferry too. I wonder how much they pay going over. It carries 48 cars and runs every 20 minutes. Apparently, the ferry company introduced the crossing in 1923. I bet the driver doesn't like being on this route. So here we are on the beach at Sandbanks and we're trying to locate Harry's house. Harry Redknapp. Harry and Sandra, but it could be a bit of a find, a bit of an ask really, when you've only got a bit of a picture of it. And there's so many millionaires properties to look at, so uh, we'll see what happens. Ooh, sun's coming out now. This is number one Panorama Road, and it's the most expensive house in Sandbanks and costs 10 million pounds. This sprawling sea facing property used to be owned by none other than Harry himself. It was then bought by the founder of Topps Tiles. I didn't know there was so much money in making tiles. There are lots of famous people living in Sandbanks, especially former footballers and older pop stars. Footballers like Graham Soonis, Harry Radnap, Jamie Redknapp and Tony Poulis all call Sandbanks their home. And of course, well-known chef Rick Stein. Even Kylie was in the area looking at properties at one time too. Hey, look at that dog. He definitely doesn't want to go into the water. He's having to be persuaded. Right, we think we have now found the Redknapp residence. Just up there. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, and this really is Harry's house, this is the third most expensive one in Sandbanks and costs a mere seven million. If I'm correct, this is Harry's house. And this one here definitely stands out. Is this what they call Art Deco?
very busy here because this is the main sandbanks road which all the cars queue up to go across the chain ferry to the other side. And I've just come across Rick Stein's restaurant. I think I'm a bit worried to see the menu prices here. <laughs> Steve, you may even get charged just to see the menu. I must admit, I am feeling a bit peckish now, but I think we can hang on. Oh, isn't it nice out here? There's no wind at all today. Okay, just before I go, I thought I would update you on a little bit of information concerning our Harry. Apparently, he moved out of that house about a year ago in 2021. It's getting a bit too popular for people to stop outside his house on the way down to the beach. So they did decide to buy a property four miles out of Sandbanks in Brandstone Park, just near Bournemouth. So, all the best, Harry. Didn't find your house. I did catch up on some information, so I thought I'd just share that with you. Okay, don't forget now to subscribe and like because it doesn't cost anything and it is free. Come on, see you next time. Bye-bye.